Hey guys, and welcome back to more Castlevania Symphony of the Night. When we last left off, we have ascended the outer walls, dealt with the doppelganger, and now it's time to have a little bit of an adventure through the library. But before we do that, actually I want to go kill this guy because he's worth some fairly decent XP. Oh, well, I mean, you know, maybe he just gives us free level for the sake of it. Who knows at this point? Anyway, let's go get the soul of the wolf because there's a few things that we can actually do with this. Let's ride the elevator that we've recently unlocked. And man, doesn't this elevator look like a damn good time. Excellent. Right. Now we have that unlocked, we can actually turn into a wolf. You can... Do these little quick ooh, <laughs> these little quick double jumps, which apparently aren't as quick as I was hoping. That's fine. We'll just quickly get through here again. No big deal. And we can always go and save the game and grab some health along the way as well. Um, no thanks. I don't think the dog can attack. I'm not 100. Well, the wolf. I'm not 100 percent sure. I haven't really experimented with it. I'm gonna be honest, like. We don't really use the soul of the wolf that much. At least I didn't anyway. So it is quicker to do the slide, but it's just annoying <laughs> to keep mashing the button. Okay. Anyway, back up. So we got ourselves a life expansion, which is fantastic, but there's more. There's another little Brucey bonus that we can get up here before we have a little exploration run through. Oh, he dropped TNT. Never actually used TNT, so I have no idea how effective it is. Probably should have taken the stairs. Or should I say, should have taken the elevator, but then we would have missed out on experience, which would have been unacceptable. Now these Medusa heads can literally go die in a fire. They're so annoying. And the knockback is kind of silly in this game. That's one thing that um, does annoy me, is knockback. It's uh, such a frustratingly dumb game mechanic. But it was the style of the time. They didn't know any better back then, bless them. Really? Okay, and there we get the heart max up there, which is ideal, so we can carry more hearts, which is fantastic. Now, we need to go and drop back down, down here. Let's have a little peep. I don't think so. This leads us to the clock tower, I want to say. No, it doesn't. Right, this is where we want to be. No, it isn't. <laughs> this is where we want to be later. That is our first teleporter which actually jumps us around the castle as you would imagine now the problem with it of course um is yeah, we need to go further down here it will only teleport you to places that you've already been to which you know makes logical sense come on guys stop playing stop playing me a boy you are but xp in my purse or wherever you put XP. Maybe in your muscles? I don't know. Actually, that sounds like it would be rather uncomfortable. I mean, technically it's experience, so maybe it's in your brain. Donkey Kong! Quite enough of that nonsense. Settle down, or I'll call Mario. You don't like Mario. Now, we should be wanting to go this way. Go find our old friend. Yep, here we go. Long library. And to be fair, it's not as long as they make out. Hey, excellent, leveled. Because there's some goodies in here that we're going to want to take. Now, we can go all the way this way first. Which will lead us to kind of a shortcut to the shop, but we can't actually make use of the shortcut. Because there's an item that we get later on that we, of course, don't have yet. But no matter, it was all a matter of time. 
Now, of course, these flea men are just an annoyance. Nothing else, really. Yink. And here we can collect the bronze caress. Now, eh, it does give us more armor. It gives us one point of extra armor, but then we lose our protection from stone. So I'd rather have, you know, one point less armor and a semi-useful ability. Having said that, I suppose we're probably not going to be fighting those poison things anytime soon. Okay. Now, I can't remember if there's any enemies coming up, actually, that might cause curse to stone. Not sure. Now, these ectoplasms suck massive amounts of balls. I forgot what the red ones do. But that one, will, if it hit, hits us, it will curse us. And the curse lasts an irritatingly long amount of time, and it means you can't use your standard attack, your equipped weapon. You can still use your sub-weapons, now I'm going to continuously keep turning myself into a wolf. Because I am a stupid ass. Cool. Now, these book enemies are awesome. I love the design of them. They're so blocky and polygonal. This reminds me of the good old glory days of the sixth generation. And uh, they're very satisfying when you defeat them and they explode as well really uh, brings a little smile to my face, which is, uh, yeah, makes this game slightly more enjoyable. God damn it, man. You wouldn't have thought a giant flying book would be that difficult to punch to death, but there you go. They have their moments, I guess. I, th I genuinely do believe that the hitboxes in this game are a little bit iffy. Uh, which was kind of perfectly illustrated with the Dracula fight. Now, if we come here, we get the Fairy Scroll, which I thought originally was going to be a fairy familiar, but it isn't. It just allows us to see what the enemies are called. And that was stupid of me. Might as well just kill these guys for the experience. Excellent. Yeah, so now we can see what the enemies are called, which is a nice touch. Again, not really an important super item that will massively improve our progress, but nice to have. And another level. Fantastic. I do love the way their skulls bounce around. That tickles me. Oh, you moron. Alucard, you've got to start working with me here, brother. There we go. That was acceptable. Now let's keep going forward onto Dawn across this beautiful bridge here. Now what do we find through here? It's been a long time, old one. Oh, it's you, Master Alucard. What do you need? I need your help. Young master, I cannot aid one who opposes the master. You won't go unrewarded. Really? In that case, just tell me what you need. <laughs> you won't go unrewarded. I have cash. Really? Then I will betray my master. All for cash. I'm interested in this. Right, so... <laughs> Thank you. We're going to sell our gems. That's the only uh, thing they have. Now, this guy sells some interesting random bits. Um, he will sell us tactics to defeat the enemies. But interestingly, I mean, let's save state it and then load it. Because I've never actually looked at these. So, what happens if we buy one of these? I think it only shows you tactics for defeating the enemy if you've already defeated the enemy which is kind of redundant okay so this is obviously like pre-recorded footage from many years ago 
See, you can do all those slides and shit, but I have no idea how you do them. Oh, they skip the dialogue, which is curious. Interesting. That's actually using the cross. Never have thought to have used the cross, to be honest. And I didn't realise you could just swipe those flames away with one swipe. That's useful to know. Yep, I know about that. Okay, so there's no way to actually deflect that. Good to know. Ooh. How do we use these abilities? Ripped to Belmont at the height of his power is truly something to be behold. Beholded. Beholden. Whatever. Dude, that was sick. Oh, come on. They're showing you, like, the super fancy way of defeating him. They couldn't have given us, like, a perfect run. Uh, that's brutal. Yeah. So they're just absolutely devastating this guy. Ah, right, that's curious. So using the Holy Water standard attack against him doesn't actually do that much damage. Alright. I mean, that was kind of cool. And then we'll just load state because I ain't wasting my money on that shit. But we do need the Jewel of Open, and this will allow us to open the locked doors. Now, as you can see, potions and things, health items, are incredibly expensive. He also sells a lot of items that we can just find around anyway, so very little point in purchasing them. Uh, I will peruse his item list at some point and actually look, do, do a bit of uh, research and see if there is anything on there worth buying. I know right down the bottom of the stack, some of his items are incredibly expensive. Alright, let's go back. And go take the teleporter. Ooh, you sausage. That wasn't cricket now, was it? As much as I kind of want to destroy everything we can, we've, we've got a pretty decent level of power right now. So all the blue doors that were once shut to us are now openable. Because we have the key, the skeleton key, if you will. But there's still plenty more items and abilities to collect. Because we have barely scratched the surface with this game. Although... This game isn't as long as I originally thought it was going to be. It is a healthy length. And I can only imagine trying to 100% this game back in the day, when of course there weren't things like the internet readily available. I had the internet myself quite late, apart from at my mum's house. Very late into uh, the internet's time, actually. I think it was around about two... 2002, I guess. It's probably where we got the internet. Hey, and it's missed you. Um, I guess we could just go straight up, take the teleporter. I love the teleportation effect in this game. It's really cool. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Actually, at this rate, we might, actually, we might have to go heal. Because we're losing a lot of health here. I don't really want to go and heal because it's valuable time, but, you know, we've got a lot of, and actually, when we go through the teleporter, there's a healing room really close. So as long as we don't completely balk it and fuck it up, which absolutely is not going to happen, level, we should be fine. 
And I love the effects. I like all that debris that kind of like lifts up and almost gets sucked into the portal. It just looks really cool. And we get a nice little heart expansion there. And we should remember this room from uh, when we found it earlier. And of course, we couldn't go through the locked door. Anyway, this should be a save room, which we are going to very much take advantage of. We're on 105 health already, which is rather fantastic. Okay. Now, let's continue to our next objective. Evening! No nonsense from you guys today. I will not be having that. No, sir. So now we need to basically go the opposite direction from when we uh, originally entered the castle. And it's kind of fun to see how weak these bony bastards are now as well. Okay, so 89 is our max. Still can't destroy the blood skeletons, which is unfortunate. I don't know if there's an ability that we get later on that will allow us to destroy them. Not 100% sure. Can't remember, to be honest. But I guess it's of little consequence to us right now. now. I don't think these guys are actually worth destroying now with how little experience that they're probably giving us. But that's fine. Collect every heart just because. A little bit of gold. We're going to need a lot of gold. Now, we can destroy these in one hit now, which we couldn't do, if you remember, when we first discovered them. They actually took a considerable amount of hits. These guys being felled by one as well. So, we're already, like, moving the needle quite a bit on how powerful we are. We are, of course, only a shadow of our former self when we first entered the castle. I believe... Yeah, that's a save room. But we don't need that. Not yet. Probably gonna regret that. Uh, yeah, you know what, we'll keep the axe, it's fine. So here's our first blue door. We finally have the power. Commanded to open. Uh, oh god, yes, holy water. Holy water is like my favorite sub-weapon. Oh, hello, Maria. So, we meet again, Alucard. It seems so. As friendly as ever, I see. It's strange. This castle is different than I remember it. This castle is a creature of chaos. It may take many incarnations. So I can't trust my memories, huh? Oh well, I'll do my best. Good luck. Likewise, Maria. I'm sure we'll be seeing you around in the not too distant future. Okay, now I believe, yep, we've got a safe spot here. And I guess that is where our adventure today ends. I know these videos are shorter, but honestly, guys, you know, spending six or seven hours uploading a video only for it to be late really blows. I hope you're enjoying them, guys. And as always, till next time.